guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just realized that I never ever introduce myself to you guys. I'm Ritika by the way, in case y'all did not know. Welcome to my channel and I hope you enjoy all the videos that I post for y'all. So today in this video, I'm gonna be doing a few hits and this is of the month March. I have quite a lot of hits, I must tell you guys. And there's one miss which I will show you in the end of the video. So I think we should just get started. And before that, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. The button is right down below somewhere here and it has a bell next to it which will get you notified every single time I post. So yeah, let's get started. So the first product that I want to talk to you all about is this foundation right here. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Now I bought this foundation about a month or two back I suppose and I recently started using it and oh my god this foundation it is absolutely amazing. So I have the shade 20 with me. This is what the packaging looks like. The only down part about it is that it does not have a pump. I know you waste quite a lot of product because it does not have a pump. I'm gonna go and get a pump for it. I think you get it in Mac stores. The pump fits on this foundation but my god this foundation is so full coverage and so like glue to your face it just does not budge. It does not let my oils seep through. It literally stays on my face for 24 hours. I'm not kidding you guys this stayed on my face for 24 hours I had my birthday this month and I had applied this foundation since I don't know how long and it lasted me the entire day. It did not budge, it did not cake up, it did not fade away. I don't know what they have mixed in this foundation but it is amazing. I definitely, definitely recommend you to try this one out. I know it is a little bit expensive. I think I got this for around 3,300 rupees but it is worth every single penny. So yeah, this is the first favorite of the month. The next product that I want to talk to you all about is this eyeshadow palette from Sivana Colors. This is in the number 03. I think it is called as a smoky palette. And I think you guys must have seen me using this palette in so many of my videos. This palette is so versatile. Every single shade in this palette is so very pigmented and so easy to blend. I'm just going to swatch some of them for you all. I absolutely love this palette. The reason I love this palette is because it's so versatile. I use this palette to do so many things like I contour with this palette. I fill my eyebrows in with this palette. I do all my eyeshadow looks from it being to a natural look to it being a smoky look. This is such a pretty palette. I do not reach for any other eyeshadows except for this one when I'm using this palette. So what I basically do is with this shade right here, I fill in my eyebrows with this shade right here. I contour my cheekbones and all the other shades can be used as eyeshadows and each and every single shade is going to be useful to y'all because they are so pretty. You have this bronzy color right here, bronzy coppery dark color which looks absolutely beautiful on your eyelids. Do try this palette out and it is so affordable. I think you get this for around 450 rupees and I'm sure you are not going to be disappointed by this palette. The next product that I want to talk to you all about is this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Dolls of the Leash. Oh my god, I have been using this palette non-stop as well. The fact that this shade suits me to the point as my contour shade is amazing and on top of that, this shade right here just brightens my eye. absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna swatch this color. It is so buttery and so finely milled. The moment I touch this, I feel like it's butter, literally butter. So this is the contour shade right here and this is the white shade right here. It looks kind of patchy but once you blend it in, it is amazing. The formula on this is pretty amazing and in case you are interested to buy this one, I will link from where to buy this in the description box below in case you are interested. So the next product that I want to mention to you guys about that I have been using non-stop this entire month is this Cabra from Benefit. This is in the number 4. The shade number is 4. Oh my god, this product. There is a reason why everyone is raving about the Cabra from Benefit. The formula on this, you guys must be knowing that I absolutely love pomades and this is one of the best pomades that I've ever used. You can get any kind of eyebrow like a natural looking eyebrow or a fuller looking eyebrow from this product itself and it comes off with its own brush which is pretty good. I have never used a brush which is this amazing. It is. I just hope that Benefit removes this brush 
separately because it is very small so it, it's kind of difficult to hold it but this eyebrow brush is amazing it actually creates those eyebrow hair kind of texture in your eyebrows and I absolutely love that fact. The next product that I have been continuously using the last month and I am still using it is the super liner from L'Oreal in the shade black. This is such a perfect liner even for a beginner this is gonna be so easy to use and the fact that it is so black. Can you see that? It is so precise, so black and it is matte as well and on top of that, it is a felt, felt tip liner. A felt tip liner is way easier to use than a gel liner or a liquid liner so this just makes my job so easy and so quick. Amazing, such an amazing product. I have no words, like yeah that's about it. So now let's move on to the most exciting products of this entire video. That's what I feel because those are highlighters. Now let me mention this first highlighter which I recently reviewed for you guys. This is the Pack Baked Highlighter in the number 02. I know I just recently bought this but I have been continuously using it. I can't help it. It is so amazing. I absolutely love, love this highlighter. I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys again. It feels so buttery. Again, just look at that. It is so intense. Like. Can you see that? It is such an intense highlighter and you guys know how much I love my highlighters to be blinding. This is not what I'm wearing today. I'm gonna mention very quickly after this highlighter, which highlighter, which highlighter? I'm getting tongue tied today. Which highlighter I'm wearing today? So this has been my favorite of last week I must say. So the next product that I want to mention to you again is a highlighter and this is the Stars Professional Makeup bronzer in the number one now i recently used this in my recent video where i think it is the makeup challenge under rupees 500 and that is the reason i bought this highlighter oh my god this highlighter it is so inexpensive first of all you get this for around 325 rupees which is absolutely amazing and i'm just gonna swatch this one for you guys again as you can see i absolutely love colors like this which have the gold and beige undertones again the pack highlighter was a gold beige undertone this is again the same thing this is what the swatch looks like and I'm just gonna swatch it right here. Can you see that? Like, I think this is exactly the dupe for this one. In a cheaper form. Like both the colors are stunning, very similar. In case you're looking to buy this highlighter, y'all can go on Amazon. I think you get it on Amazon or I think you get it on Flipkart as well. I'm not really sure about it. I will just link it somewhere in the description box below from where y'all can buy this one. So let's move on to our lipstick favorites of the month. I know you guys absolutely eagerly wait for this and let me tell you I have quite a lot of lipsticks to show and share with you guys which I have been loving last month because I absolutely love lipsticks. I wear them every single time even if I do not have any makeup on my face I always wear a lipstick so that's saying a lot. So anyway the first lipstick that I want to mention, actually these are two lipsticks and both are from Maybelline. These are the creamy matte finishes in the shade Touch of Spice and Nude Nuance. Now both are like a nude lipsticks. Now you guys know I absolutely love my nudes. So I wear nudes very often. So the first one is Touch of Spice. I'm just going to swatch it for you guys. It is such a beautiful color. So this is what Touch of Spice looks like. It is such a pretty mauve pink kind of a nude. I love this color and I have worn this so often and I've gotten so many compliments on it. This has been out of stock for such a long time. Every single time I go and try to buy it, it was out of stock. So apparently I had gone to Beauty Center and they had this in stock and I grabbed it as like I saw it. I did not want it to get out of stock right in front of my eyes. So I bought both the shades that is the new nuance and touch of spice. So this is the new nuance shade this is more like a brownie pinky nude color and i absolutely love such kind of colors which has brown and pink undertones in it so those were the two from maybelline the next one that i want to talk to you all about is this miss Claire soft matte lip cream again i bought this when i had gone to buy the maybelline creamy mattes and this shade is so beautiful Again, it's a nude, as you all saw, it's a nude, but it is much more lighter, so I'm just going to swatch it right here. 
this is the shade right here it is such a pretty pinkish brownish light pinky brown nude i love 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 miss clear soft matte lip creams because they're so comfortable to wear and you do not feel like you're wearing any kind of lipstick whenever i wear this miss clear soft matte lip cream so in case you haven't tried it out you're missing out guys go and try them out and the last lipstick that i want to mention to you guys is from colourpop this is in the shade le freak i wore this recently in my birthday makeup tutorial there's a reason why I love this lipstick. It is such a vampy shade, such a dark wine plum shade. So I'm just gonna swatch it right here. Again, it's a matte lipstick. As you all know, I love my mattes. This is what the color looks like. Isn't it stunning? Like, whenever I wear this lipstick, it just enhances my features to another level. I love this lipstick. In case you are interested to buy this one as well, I will link it from where I bought it in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. So the last product that was a hit for this month is actually a perfume. Now I consider perfume to be included in beauty because I feel like it enhances your beauty and you know, you get a very positive vibe around you if you're smelling good. So the perfume that I want to talk to you all about is from Dolce and Gabbana. This color is a light blue. Oh my god, this fragrance is absolutely stunning for the summer. It's such a fresh fragrance. It has those lemony, aquatic kind of tones. Love this perfume. Whenever I wear this, I feel so calm, so soothing, so relaxed, so refreshed. That is how I describe my, this perfume right here. I absolutely love it. As you all can see, it's almost here. I hope it does not get over because I'm just gonna use this continuously in the summer. It is such a summery fragrance. Love, love this perfume. So guys, I quickly wanted to mention the lipstick that I'm wearing right now because I know I'm gonna get questions on this lipstick. You guys always seem to ask me what lipstick I'm wearing in the video. So I thought why not mention it to you guys. So this is the Maybelline, the Powder Matte in the shade Cherry Chic. This is like a proper mix between a pink and a red and it looks absolutely beautiful. It is a beautiful color for summer. So yeah, that is it. So those were all the hits for the month. Now I'm gonna move on to the misses of the month. I have one miss for this entire month of March and actually February as well. Now this is gonna come as a shock to you guys because this has been my favorite for quite a lot of time since I bought it, but apparently it stopped working out for me. I do not know what happened. So I'm just gonna kill the suspense and tell you what product I'm actually talking about. This is the NYX HD Concealer in the shade CW06. Now this was like my favorite go-to concealer. If you guys remember, I used to use this quite a lot in my videos and I used to mention it as well. But as time passed by, something happened with it. Something happened on my face or something happened on with this concealer. I do not know what happened, but the moment I used to apply it after a few hours, like say one, two hours, it started caking up on my face so badly, like so badly. I cannot even tell you how gross it used to look on my face. And I have been having, not compliments, but comments uh, saying that, you know, your makeup is looking so cakey, it's looking so white here, it's all creased and stuff like that. And I noticed that and it looked so bad so bad and i tried it two three times i thought it is a foundation i also did a foundation review using this next hd concealer and in that video as well it caked up i do not know what happened i thought it was a foundation but apparently it was a concealer it just did not work out for me after that i stopped using it and i'm apparently gonna throw it and let me tell you this guys that if this is a miss for me it's not necessarily gonna be a miss for you it might work out for you and if it does it's amazing because it's quite affordable but for me personally it just did not work out so yeah this was a miss of the month so guys that was it for my hits and misses of the month i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you all did like it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up to this video and yeah that's it i would like to say let me know in the comments below what videos you all would like to see in the future so i can do it for you guys so yeah that's it for this video and i think i'm gonna see you all in my next one very soon until then bye